Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and I'm going to be editing this beach image using the Lemon Sky Outdoor Collection for Photoshop. This set consists of over 120 Photoshop actions, all in workflow order for all outdoor images. I'm going to switch over to button mode here and just drag this in a little bit so that they all appear in a neat column. To watch the full video of how to use these, please watch video number one. This one I'm going to move a little bit faster, so the image is underexposed. I'm going to start with the underexposed base here, the underexposed fixer up. This will set up multiple layers for me to work through, as well as working independently and intelligently on the image. It will also give me a few extra options. As you can see here, we have shadow, and then there are a load of on or off actions, which you can turn on or off here, selecting the eye. And then there are some paints as well with black layer masks, you can paint on those. So I'm going to start here at the shadow lift. This image was quite dark, as you can see the sun had just gone down below the horizon by this point. And I'm going to lift this up, and that's really lifting the shadows up out of the image. And then I can go and turn these ones on or off, and then again slide the opacity or paint them just to tailor them more. Although the initial effect should be quite good. Turn that one down a touch. Brightness and contrast. Yep, happy with that. So I'm literally just kind of flicking through these all the while looking at my image, turning them on or off and thinking yes or no. Like for example, that one is a no for this image. Mm, nope. Perhaps cooling down a touch. Yeah, I like the warm up. So I'm literally just just coming through these. And then we have paints for specific areas of the image, if you want to, like rescuing some highlights on the dress there perhaps. I may darken the edges, just to bring the attention back into them. So that's before and after using the uh, the underexposer fixer upper base, and really I'm I'm quite happy with that edit as it is, for now. So that was a two minute image edit. I'm just going to come in a little bit and work on the skin because these subjects are quite far away from the camera; they're full body. You don't need as much of a skin work as you would for perhaps a close up portrait. So I'm going to come with the colours. First of all, I'm going to play the you go yellow and just take some of the yellows out of this umbrella here just so it matches up with the dress a little bit more because I think it's a little bit too yellow I think I may give them a peachy foundation the skin foundations are more advanced than the skin toners as you can see they play a lot of layers to adapt to the skin soften the skin out, add a nice tone and a contour and I've gone for the peachy because I want to kind of keep the warmth of this image here. So I'm just going to use a white brush and just lightly bring this over the skin. Now I'm using it, I feel it may be a little bit too much highlighting on those yellows there. But that's fine because I'm just going to play the yellow action and take that off because I like the effect this is giving. So back to you go yellows. And I'm just going to use this to take some of those yellows down a little bit. I have my brush set to 25% flow, 100% opacity. I'm just going to tweak that in a little bit more and flatten down. I'm going to use the sharpen eyes action just to sharpen up their eyes a little bit. Let me bring this over there. I love the way our hair is blowing there in the wind. Any other areas I kind of want to bring the attention to and flatten down. I may play the cream foundation as well. Played the peach, it pulled out quite a few of those yellows. Which even though I could take them down again, I ended up um, taking the opacity down quite a bit because in hindsight I played it and I thought nope it doesn't quite suit the image, that's the beauty of these actions, you can turn them on or off. 
You can try several, they're completely non-destructive to your background layer. Yeah, I think the cream one is much more suited to this image. So we can see here, it's really lifting, lifting those shadows and adding some toning back into the skin. Quite often you'll find if the image is underexposed, you may find the skin is quite grey and you'd have to add quite a bit of contrast in um, to get the, you know, to get the kind of the toning back. These foundations do all that for you. And flatten. And play the soften hairbrush as well, just to add to the kind of dreaminess of the image. And then I think I'll be ready to go down and use some of the finishing actions. So I'm going to flatten that down. Every time you take a snapshot and flatten, it creates a snapshot up here in your history tab. If you can't see history, simply go on window and click history here. Add a little bit of haze here to the background. This is a manual action with instructions. The gradient box will pop up. So you drag the haze where you want it to go. Perhaps up here. And hit OK. The action will play out. You can change the colour of the haze if you want to by double clicking on this box. I may make it a little bit yellower. And you can use a black brush to paint this off your subjects if you wanted to, or anywhere else you don't want it to show. So I think that's just warmed up the, uh, the background quite nicely, so I'm going to flatten that one. One click finish here, Let's just add a quick overall boost to your image, maybe have to have a little bit of contrast, a little bit of sharp. And again, you can slide the opacity if you wanted to here, with both of these. We have black and white, a vignette, and other actions like that. Now we have the signature washes. There is one called Beach Bum, so of course I'm going to use that one for this image. You also have others as well. You can mix and match these. And you can slide the opacity to suit. So I think I'm going to go about there. And flatten down. I'm thinking I may add the same kind of haze um, to this area in the image because down here feels a little bit cool. But if we remember the uh, the starting image, it was a very cool, um, kind of colder looking underexposed image to begin with. So I'm going to come here and play haze again. Hit continue, OK. And just drag that down here. I'm going to change this again to more of a yellow, creamy kind of tone. This time I'm going to invert and paint on using a white brush. Invert just simply means changing this to a black mask from a white mask. I hit Control or Command and I for invert. Or you can right click and do that. So that's just added a little bit of warmth in there too. Vignette will darken the edges and you can paint this off your subjects. So let's see where we were and where we've ended up. This is where we started because I've been taking these snapshots. You can see the edits here, the underexposed fixer upper base. These are scattered throughout, like I say, take a snapshot and flatten so you can do the same. So you can kind of go back to any point in your edit if you want to, save different versions. And that's where we finished. So before and after. That is a beach edit using the LSP Lemon Sky Outdoor Base uh, collection for Photoshop. This has over 120 actions included. It's impossible for me to show you every single one, but they're all in workflow order. They're all very self-explanatory and they all come with instructions. You can click the instruction panels on every single one of them. So that's before and after. 
You can also watch a video of me adding a sky into this image on YouTube, um, uh, or if you go on the LSP website and visit the sky overlays page. And this is all available at www.lsp-actions.com.